Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So in the last episode, I showed you how to add jump in animations to the character and how to add footstep sounds. So today, now that we have a pretty decent character to run around, I'm going to show you the basics of landscape and for the first time I'm going to show you how to create a basic layered material and how to apply layers into the landscape so like this in here this is uh, some simple landscape I created and here I have three layers and I can paint the landscape with like this so this is what I'm going to show you all right so let's get started <coughs> okay for now we have this uh, M ground grass material which came with the starter pack so I'll create a new folder called materials and inside that I'll create a new material called M landscape M stands for material right I'll open this and so this is our basic material setup so here I need three material three layers to demonstrate to do that I'm gonna need first I will right click on this and promote to parameter so it will say base color instead of that I will call it L1 color that means layer 1 color right and I'll change it to something like green and similarly I duplicate this with control W and add and I'll call this L2 color again duplicate I'll change the color of this into something like this here L3 color so now we have three colors and I need I'll disconnect this and uh, there is something called landscape layer blend here in this layers section I can define landscape layers material layers so I'll call the first one L1 that means layer 1 and I'll set the preview weight as 1 so by default this uh, material will have 1 for the layer 1 so it will be the landscape will be filled with layer 1 and the next one is L2 for layer 2 third one is L3 right now we have these three inputs three layer inputs and as an output I have another material output so we can't uh, actually this is a complete material if I break this down you can see all the attributes comes with a material can be taken out of this so therefore we don't need all this attributes here if we are going to use them we have to connect them like this but I'm not going to do that instead I'll delete this and here when I select this there is this uh, option use material attributes when I say it set it to true it will collapse into one and so that I can connect this like this so all the attributes will be projected here right 
now I have connected this and to input as inputs I'm gonna need some other material outputs for layer 1 and layer 2 and layer 3 but here uh, there is a problem because I can't connect this them like this because this is a color and these are material attributes so I will disconnect them again and uh, I will go back to my materials folder and I will create a function which takes these parameters or colors as inputs and create a material and output a output a material so I'll call this function here material function mf layer mf layer mf stands for material function okay so here we have this is the default node we get I'll right click on this no, I'll drag a draw drag a line here and type input so I can define a function input like this I'll call it base color right now I will drag and drop this material function into our landscape material like this now I can connect this and we have a material output here and connect this into our layer blend similarly I will duplicate this and again and connect this one and this one here and here okay we have a problem let me check right the problem is I am connecting this base color into this function but this function is taking this as a material attribute node to fix that I'll break this and I'll create this node called make material attributes so now we have this base color node base color input here and I can connect it like this okay now this error is gone right so now I'll apply this and go back to my C okay before that I will quickly change the color of this one into something different from the other two like blue okay so the materials are compiling I'll select this landscape here and instead of this material first I will create an instance of this landscape material I'll call it MI landscape MI stands for material instance and I'll open this so these are the values I got the reason to create a material instance is in a material instance we can easily change these parameters without having to recompile the shader also this is better for other purposes like organization purposes and also when we have multiple uh, materials in same family I will explain them in later in our series okay now I'll drag and drop this MI landscape into here right now the shaders are compiling let's wait 
oh before that in here so now we can see this layers under the landscape tab and paint tab so to paint I have to assign or create assign a layer here a layer info here so to do that I can use this little plus mark and add weight blended layer or non weight blended layer and uh, I will for the moment I'll add a weight blended layer here it will be saved into a map one shared assets similarly I'll add for these two layers as well so this these uh, files will store whatever the data uh, data about these layers right the materials are still compiling so let's wait a little bit okay now they are compiled right so now I can try painting these layers so this is already green so I'll select another layer this yellow layer and when I try to paint the first time it will again take some time to do some uh, compilations right now I can paint in yellow as well and select and paint in green as well and if I again try to paint in this blue layer for the first time it will again cause this section to repaint or recompile okay so it is compiled so I can paint in all three colors green yellow or blue so also let me quickly ch change the colors of each layer like this see we can easily change the colors of each layer without having to recompile the shaders okay and instead of yellow I will use something like brown and instead of blue I will use something like white okay and also I will go to this sculpt tab and select this sculpt tool so this is basically this is the tool basically used to sculpt the landscape I can change the brush size within here or with uh, keyboard shortcuts uh, this uh, let me show you with this one and this one as well so here if I press this one this is get enlarged this one it is get smaller right so with this sculpt tool selected I will increase the strength a little bit and I will sculpt some landscape like this only for demonstration purposes so I will create a better landscape in future tutorials all right now we have some mountain and I'll select this flatten tool this tool, what this tool does is it gets the current height of the point we start and make other places as we draw similar to that like this okay right okay so this is our simple quick landscape just created and let's see okay so we can run in this landscape okay right so 
that's all for today and next time I will show you instead of this plain colors how to add real textures into this landscape material all right see you in the next video goodbye